While many evil men have existed in history, they don't hold a candle to these women. This blood's not fresh. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another top 10 most evil women in history. For these deadly women, murder became a habit too strong to resist. For this list, we're looking at females throughout the ages who really weren't very nice, to put it mildly. If you don't see an evil woman you think should be on the list, be sure to check out our original video of the top 10 most evil women in history. By that rarest of criminal commodities, the female serial killer. Number 10, Eileen Warnos. You sabotaged my ass, society, and the cops, and the system. A raped woman got executed. Working as a prostitute can be a dangerous profession, and no one knows that quite like American serial killer Eileen Warnos. While working as a lady of the night in Florida between 1989 and 1990, Warnos murdered seven individual men. She claimed all the acts were committed in self-defense, though evidence put much doubt on her claims. In 1990, she was convicted for six murders and later executed via lethal injection in 2002. Christine, in an hour and a half exactly, Eileen Warnos will be injected with a poison. Within about two minutes, she will begin to stop breathing. The following year, Charlize Theron portrayed Warnos in the crime drama Monster, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress. <gasps> oh, God! Oh, God, I'm sorry. My babies. My grandbabies. <laughs> Number 9. Enriqueta Marti Our next entry takes the meaning of a double life to the next level. During the day, Enriqueta spent her time assisting charities and abandoned children in Barcelona, Spain. When nightfall came, she would often murder or prostitute those same children out to the socialites of Barcelona. This is just the tip of the iceberg, as she began practicing witchcraft using the remains of the children in her concoctions. She was eventually arrested in 1913 and was lynched by her fellow convicts a few months later. Number 8. Wu Zetian There is a long line of emperors and empresses who were bad, but none was quite as evil as our next pick, Wu Zetian, the proud empress that ruled during the Zhou dynasty. She struggled to keep her supreme power and left a trail of blood and broken corpses in her wake. She eliminated her political rivals and, along with her lovers, Zhang Yijie and Zhang Changzhang, who also happened to be brothers, corrupted the Zhou dynasty. She was eventually removed and died of an unknown illness while Yijie and Changzhang were executed for treason. As the only female emperor in four millennia, she most certainly left her mark. Number 7. Griselda Blanco. The godmother, a cocaine queen pin of sorts. Sometimes it takes a woman to run a cartel. Griselda Blanco, also known as the Black Widow or the cocaine godmother, was the driving force for cocaine trafficking in Miami during the 1970s and 80s. She had started with $26,000 in lifetime savings. A year after that, her and her husband, Alberto Bravo, she had a weekly income of $10 million. She was the face of the Medellin Colombian cartel in the United States, with her return to the States from Colombia triggering the Miami drug war, increasing gang violence and mass murder in the city. Murder, so many that people have begun calling South Florida Dodge City. There were 65 murders in November alone. After trying to steal a shipment of cocaine from the cartel, which resulted in the death of a member of the powerful Ochoa family, she went on the run. She was later murdered in a drive-by shooting in Colombia. As of yesterday, she is dead, gunned down by a motorcycle-riding assassin as she stepped out of a butcher shop in Medellin, Colombia. Number six, Irma Grise. She was just 20 years old in 1943, and her combination of beauty and cruelty was to make her notorious. Let's face it, many of the female Nazi officers could be horrible, if not worse than their male counterparts. We were going to give the spot to Dorothea Bintz, an SS officer at the Ravensbrück concentration camp who tortured prisoners, but Irma Grisa takes it this time. Grisa was a warden stationed at Ravensbrück and Auschwitz and was in charge of prisoner selection. For Irma Grisa, the women's camp became a sadistic playground. If you were sick, weak, or prettier than her, off to the gas chambers you went. 
She was eventually caught by British forces and tried for war crimes in 1945. I am convinced that we have an opportunity to bring to a just judgment those who have thought it safe to wage aggressive and ruthless war. Interesting fact, Grisa was the youngest woman to be executed under British law in the 20th century. After the war, Irma Grisa was tried for war crimes and sentenced to death. She was executed two months after her 22nd birthday. Number five, Fusako Shigenobu. <laughs> Every revolution needs just the right female touch. Born in Tokyo, Sako Shigenobu attended Meiji University and became radically involved in protesting, like many students do. Sparking this controversial protesting feeling, Shigenobu moved to the Middle East in 1971 and formed the Japanese Red Army. <laughs> A terrorist group in all senses of the term. They are responsible for multiple attacks on airports and even claimed responsibility for the September 11, 2001 attacks on the United States. Their goals included intentions to take over Japan's government and the world. While the Japanese Red Army has disbanded since 2001, Shigenobu is still alive and kicking though she's currently serving a 20-year prison sentence given to her in 2006. Number 4. Biljana Plavšić Nearly two years ago, I came before this tribunal, having been charged with participating in crimes against other human beings, and even against humanity itself. It's time for us to move up the ladder into the presidency. In 1992, Biljana Plavšić served as acting president of the Serb Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Besides the normal political corruption, Plavšić played a major role during the Bosnian War by leading an ethnic cleansing against six million non-Serbs in her own country. She eventually became the second president of Republika Srpska, one of the reigning governments of Bosnia and Herzegovina in the mid-90s, and was later tried for her war crimes. In this obsession of ours to never again become victims, we had allowed ourselves to become victimizers. She defended her actions with the statement, quote, six million Serbs can die so that the remaining six million can live in freedom. She was sentenced to 11 years and was released in 2009. Number three, Rosemary West. They said, we're gonna kill you and we're gonna bury you under this paving stones of Gloucester. Sometimes true love takes us down some dark paths. Born Rosemary Letts, Rose had a difficult childhood. Starting with a complicated pregnancy and a violent and sexually abusive father, Rose was driven into the arms of English serial killer Fred West. I think Rose manipulated Fred rather more than Fred later liked to admit. The pair would pick up girls from bus stops from around their home in Gloucester, imprison them for a short period of time, then kill them. Rosemary would also moonlight as a prostitute and even had her father as a client. The jury came back. Rose West was found guilty on 10 counts of murder. The trial judge in sentence her, said she should never be released. The Wests were eventually arrested, resulting in Fred West's suicide. When police dig at the Wests' house, they're sickened by what they find. Rosemary claims she's innocent to this day and is currently serving her life sentence. I don't think she should ever be set free again because she lured a lot of those young girls to their deaths. Number two. Delphine Lalori. Bonsoir, my pet. Did you all miss me? Sometimes being a socialite gets boring, and you have to do something to pass the time. Madame Lalori was a prominent figure in 1800s New Orleans, and like other high-ranking individuals, owned slaves. Everything was peachy for the pictures, but behind the scenes, Lalori would torture and murder her slaves. The Lalories had been conducting strange experiments on slaves. According to one legend, uh, 
one young girl had her bones broken and reset by Dr. Lowry in such a way that her walking resembled that of a crab. One famous account is that upon entry into the mansion in 1834, authorities found women with their stomachs cut open and entrails wrapped around them to hold them closed. And rather than face the wrath of Delphine, she had set fire to the house uh, in hopes of committing suicide. This discovery came about after her mansion caught fire and exposed her crimes, causing her to flee to Paris, where she spent her final days. And yes, in case you're wondering, American horror story Coven's Delphine Lalaurie is based on a real person. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Half man, half bull. And now, I have one of my very own. Before we're appalled by our top pick, here are a few dishonorable mentions. Jane is supposed to keep the Davises safe from harm. But one by one, over a period of six weeks, she kills them. Among the stories that surfaced over the next three decades was one which claimed that Carol calmly watched television while Starkweather murdered her family. But in the end, Dorothea found guilty of three of the murders and this gray-haired grandmotherly serial killer given a sentence of life behind bars. Number one. Williamina Minnie Dean. Many myths have become ingrained into the psyche of Southlanders and New Zealanders about baby farmer Minnie Dean, who was hanged in 1895 for the murder of several children. Many people can kill someone, but you have to be pure evil to murder an infant child. This Scotland-born homemaker eventually moved to New Zealand, settling in Winton in the 1870s after marrying Charles Dean. It would appear from the bruises on the baby that Millie smothered it. Facing financial straits, Minnie would take in children and infants for a small payment and then would casually dispose of their bodies, even hiding a few in her own garden. It was here that they found the bodies of Eva Hornsby and Dorothy Edith Carter. After being accused of baby farming, she was charged with murder and later executed. Minnie holds the honor of being the only person ever to be executed by New Zealand and for her crimes against children. Is it any wonder she's on the top of this list? Everybody gathered round To see a woman hang in Winton Town Do you agree with our list? Who do you think is the most evil woman in history? Dana Sue Gray pleads guilty to multiple murders. For more informative top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. When the blood dries, my skin's supposed to be tight as a drum.